Hello and welcome back to the channel, or again, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, hope you enjoy this video, um, and be sure to subscribe down below, it means a lot, hoping to get 250 by the end of the month. Uh, today we're dropping in and we're doing some uh, a quiz video for Pompey Quiz, um, I might bring out a couple more quizzes for you to do at home, not necessarily revolving around Pompey, but this one, obviously because it's mainly a Pompey related channel, uh, this one is on Pompey, 15 questions, 3 different difficulty levels, 5 questions on each difficulty, not a lot of uh, explaining to do. I'll give you some time to think on each question. Um, the question will also be written in text underneath my head or somewhere on the screen. I don't know where. Um, so if you feel that you haven't had enough time, just scroll back a bit, pause the video, look at the look at it, and then uh, write your answer down. The answers will be posted later on today. And as well as that, let me know how you got on in the comments um, over on Instagram at BlakeOnTour underscore YT. Or on Twitter, I think my Twitter handle is at fans OTR because of my whole channel name. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into this. Uh, question one on easy is when were Portsmouth formed? I'm looking for the date, not just the year. I'm looking for the day on which Portsmouth Football Club were formed. And question two, in which area? Of Portsmouth is the stadium located in which Portsmouth play their football. It's been dubbed a fortress in recent times after <laughs> after being unbeaten there all season so far. But where is it? And question three: What is the name of that ground? What is the name of the ground that's been dubbed a fortress in recent times? And now with question four, moving on from the stadium, we're now looking at, and I want to know, who is Portsmouth's all-time appearance maker? So who is the person who holds the single-handed most appearances for the for Portsmouth Football Club? I oh, just, just want the name here, nothing else. Not not the amount of appearances, just, just the name. There will be bonus points on offer throughout the video, but not, not for this one. And uh, now, what game in Portsmouth history was the all-time highest scoring? So which game had the most goals involved? So I'm looking for the, the scoreline and the team who it was against. If you get both, you get the point. So uh, that, that was the easy level. We'll uh, now move on to the medium level questions, which are a bit harder, but not, not, not the worst. Um, so we'll start off with, uh, what is Portsmouth's biggest ever win? So I'm looking for the scoreline for the point, and then for a bonus point, I want to know who was it against. That'll grab you a bonus point on this question. And question two, what is Pompey's all-time record home attendance to the nearest 1,000? And obviously, people may say that Wembley is our home. That's our second home. I'm looking for the whole time attendance at our first home, where we play our home games in the league. And question three on the medium level. How many major trophies have Portsmouth won? So for this one, I'm looking for how many, the number, and for a bonus point, can you name all of them? Without sponsorship, the names when they started. That will give you some bonus points there. And question four on medium. What is the name of the company that owns the club? So I'm not looking for the name of the owner. I'm looking for the name of the company that the owners formed. And that's now the name of the company that owns the club. What is that company's name? Oh, I'm very thirsty today. And the last question of the medium level, who is Portsmouth's longest ever serving manager? So which manager lasted the longest in his role as the manager? And now we'll move on to the hard questions. So these are the hardest of the lot. The final question in particular is very difficult. So starting off with question one. Who was Pompey's top scorer in the 2002-03 Elite Division 1 campaign in which Portsmouth were promoted to the Premier League? 
I'm looking for the top scorer in all competitions for the main point. And if you'd like a bonus point, then tell me how many goals this person scored in all competitions that season. And question two on the hard. What is the capacity of Portsmouth Stadium to the nearest 200 seats? Um, not looking for the exact number here. If you get the number to the nearest 200, I'll give you the point. Um, this is without the corners, so with safety regulations in place. And question three. What are or is the only English domestic trophy or domestic major trophy that Portsmouth are yet to win in their history? I would like the name without sponsorship. And question four on hard. Who were Portsmouth's goal scorers against AC Milan at home? I will be I'll be, want, I'll be giving a point for each one you can get. One is definitely more expected than the other one. And question five. What is Portsmouth's win percentage at the old and new Wembleys in their finals, semi-finals of domestic competitions. Uh, this is not including any friendlies that may have been played. This is uh, competitive football. So, for example, the Community Shield would count because it's competitive, you're competing for something, and uh, FA Cup finals, things like that, they count as well. So what is the win percentage? Oh, we, uh, the uh, point will be going to the person 5% is um, to the nearest 5%. So if you get... 2% off, you'll get the point. Anyway, we have now come to the end of the quiz. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Uh, if you want to see anything else, I thought I'd give you some content that is interactive so that you have something to do while you sit at home or in your garden or with nothing to do. Uh, can we hit 10 likes on this video? I know it's a bit less than the podcast, but that's getting popular. Um, and yeah. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the future, because I'm definitely not, not planning on anything. I've got a few videos lined up, but if you want to see anything in particular, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, overall, and uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. 250 by the end of the month would be a, a massive thing for me, and uh, see you in the next one.